on this weekend because of the fact that you only got one last? Oh, I just think, uh, yeah, you, but, you know, you start looking around and they're just not there, you know, just to, everybody's committed somewhere and um, <clears throat> just do with what you got. Yeah, it just, it, it would have been nice, but uh, just, just not enough. People, people yeah. got their set, schedule set and they got to commit to wherever they're going. Yeah, you know, it's kind of hard. Somebody wants to come back in here and wrestle us, right? Coach, just looking around, I mean, you, you guys have nine matches. There's guys around the country with, you know, dozens, dozens of matches. Uh, are you concerned at all with just the number of matches you guys have no, wrestled? No, I'm not point? concerned. No, not too much. I mean, I think, I think when you look at uh, – the number of matches, you know, that, that we are going to have in the next uh, month, you know, uh, you know, I think the season's more about making weight and stabilizing your weight, and, um, and of course, uh, um, wrestling is. I mean, with with each match, you need to get better. You know, you need to gain some gain some. Uh, confidence through those matches and, and, and definitely uh, make sure you, wherever you're feeling like there, there needs to be improvement, you're making that improvement. So, um, hey coach, how you doing? Yeah, question for this guy. Yeah. <laughs> um, we, um, nine matches is, is enough, right? I wish there was, we had more, you know, but it's fine. And then, yeah. uh, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and then uh, when the dual schedule is over, right, I mean, you guys kind of have a uh, backloaded schedule. Do you guys feel like your guys have been, like, will be adequately tested? Yeah, I mean, yeah, you, you, you know, we just need to make sure that uh, we, we, you know, we stay healthy, one. And, um, you know, once we get into the weekends where we're going twice a week, uh, those things help a lot, and so um, I think if you look around the country in some of the better programs, you're, you're seeing 9, 10, 11, 12 matches, same same scenario. Speaking of health, is, how's Travis's minor injury progressed since uh, you had him sit out Sunday? Yeah, um, as, as, as of right now, we plan on him wrestling this weekend. You know, so um, we'll see how it's, see how it goes, but uh, um, we we plan on using him this weekend. And um, but like anything, things can change. Before COVID, would you have been able to to reschedule that Columbia duel? Because it seems like now teams are at least more willing to to kind of think. I think if that happened last year, there, we we wouldn't have wrestled. You know, everything's new. I think Columbia was like, let's do this, you know, and, you know, they're not getting any pullback, you know. And, uh, Ivy Leagues are going to class and, uh, you know, so, yeah, I think it's a, a year later that we, re we recognize that uh, we might have to live through some of this and keep, keep moving forward. Sunday, you, you – Tra or um, White was one of those guys that you weren't totally impressed with yeah. his match. Obviously, the start. Obviously, you can't have that slow start this weekend against a, a top ten guy. No, I mean this is where you want to be. You know, you want to be in a position to, you know, to move forward. You know, and uh, top ten guy. You know, guy takes ten, uh, losing the bull. You know, that's that's not even an All American, right? So. Um, you know why it's why it's uh, been pretty consistent this year. Been been pretty good at what he's been doing. You know, I was pleased to see him even. You know, after giving up two takedowns and down four to one, um, him tie the match before the end of the first period. I thought he was going to take off a little bit and maybe uh, run away with that uh, run away with that match. But um, you know, like we talked last week, uh, Columbia was competitive and. Stayed in the fight and give him credit, and, and you know. So uh, let's get Wyatt. We need Wyatt to score more takedowns right now.
what are some of the other matchups you're looking forward to this weekend? Well, I think they're all pretty good. I don't think there's any of them that's just lopsided, you know. I think the, the one thing that um, uh, that uh, heavyweight is is probably going to be Cerber's best, you know, challenge at, uh, as of this year, except for, you know, uh, Gable Stevenson. Yeah, I guess yeah. he's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, and, and uh, I just see his workout, seeing what he's doing up here. Um, it's exciting to have a freshman that you, you see s some real future with uh, as we move forward. But it's an important match for him. Yeah, it's a good, good opportunity for him to make something happen. Obviously, he's still relatively new at the weight, but have you seen him starting to, to learn how to – Basically, use the advantage of other opponents who have more weight as a disadvantage to yeah, them. Yeah, use by your using... speed. Yeah, use your use your agility, um, and he can wrestle. I mean, you saw some shots. You've seen him take people down. You've seen him uh, do some things that have been pretty exciting to watch. And so, um, I, I just like the fact that you know. He's not your typical heavyweight, you know. He's he comes in and, and he's he's real interested in working hard. You know, he's real interested in where his career goes. He's not out here, you know, just to be a part of it. He wants to be part of the legacy. Uh, you know, he wants to. You know, he's you know his whole life he grew up on championship teams in Tuttle. You know, and so that's what he knows and. And um, we, you know, it's one reason why he's here. Obviously, kind of a big talk with, with you and with the guys that we talked to on Sunday was trying to get a mental change out of Carter from Sunday's performance. How have you seen him mentally approaching this week after? Well, Sunday? he's, you know, he's still, um, he's still, you know, doing a fine job in the room. He did, he did a fine job before, you know, but uh, uh, I just, he probably knows now, you know, when when you get beat, there's certain things that you need to think about, need to do, you know, um, and that's what I'm, I, I was looking for. Um, I didn't like some of his comments following his loss, and I just reminded him, you know, you know, make sure you, you you're thinking the right way on the same page I am, and, and how to take this loss, and and create an opportunity of getting better. And, uh, man, I wasn't real critical on him. I just, just want to make sure he's getting a little closer to the way I think and the way I think he should be thinking. Obviously, 